Hey, that's a great question. What's the difference between Pityriasis versicolor, Tinea versicolor, and Pityriasis rosea? So this is very confusing, and it's back in the textbooks from back in the day, but really what it is is that word Tinea means a fungus infection, meaning a fungus that got on you from an exogenous or outside source. Unfortunately, back in the day, Tinea versicolor got lumped into that, but Tinea versicolor is not a fungus infection, which is why in dermatology, we prefer to call it Pityriasis versicolor to make sure people understand this is not a fungus infection you got. There's something called Malassezia or Pittosporum that is a yeast-like organism that lives in our own oil glands near our hair follicles. And it can overgrow sometimes and it makes a little rash once in a while on our chest where we have a lot of oil glands. So it really should be called Pityriasis versicolor, not Tinea versicolor. So don't use the word Tinea versicolor. It should be Pityriasis versicolor. Pityriasis rosea is something totally different. That is where a child or young adult gets reactivation of human herpes virus six or seven. HHV six or seven we get exposed to in childhood and it can get reactivated later in childhood or even in adolescence or young adulthood where you get a little bit of a, maybe a cold, a runny nose, and then within a few days you get a big circular herald patch a big oval ringworm looking thing, maybe on the trunk. And then a few days later, you get the Christmas tree rash, which is a bunch of little cornflakes down your back and on your stomach. By the time the rash, rash comes out, the virus reactivation has come and gone. So is pityriasis rosea contagious? No, but the rash itself is gonna last six to 12 weeks, a long time. Sunlight can sometimes help it go away a little faster, but do not give prednisone or an IM Kenalog shot. That'll make it last longer. If pityriasis rosea doesn't scar, not a big deal, it'll go away.